Elon Musk has always tickled us by new projects and changes he has done. He's done it with the Tesla Cybertruck, the Tesla Roadster 2022, and he didn't stop there. The latest news says that there are updates for the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y. Well, do you have a curiosity in knowing what these updates are? Then stay tuned in the video. Welcome to Tesla Exposed. And today we are going to talk about Tesla's Model 3S 2022 updates. So without any further ado, let's begin. Tesla isn't the type of automaker to mainly specify its cars based on the year they are released. The official attitude is features are rolled out as and when they are ripe. It's just a bit of luck that a lot of those features tend to appear when we change calendars. While Tesla doesn't officially renew or redesign its cars, it's always enhancing them via over-the-air software updates. Moreover, Tesla doesn't depend on traditional model years. It has even made hardware edits at random times over the years. According to a recent report published by Electric, the Tesla Model Y crossover and Model 3 sedan may be earning a host of new updates and features soon. Reportedly, a test program in Europe has brought the possible features to light. But some changes are significant, including the new low-voltage 15.5V lithium-ion battery that's likely an alternate for the standard 12V car battery, which powers all the low-power features like door locks, alarms, and the onboard computer. Tesla already did this with the Model S and Model Y, so this change was inescapable. Along with revising the rear-wheel drive Model 3 to involve lithium, iron phosphate, LFP batteries, Tesla included many other significant and not-so-significant changes in the model year updates. The information was uncovered by Julian, a Model 3 holder in Germany, who uncovered a full list of 29 changes published from testing in the Netherlands a few months back. Not long after the Model Y came to market, Tesla remodeled the Model 3 to nearly mirror its new crossover sibling. Shortly later, Tesla also made some noteworthy updates to the Model Y itself. As the electric automaker initiates factories and vehicles in global markets, its cars get new updates, additional features, and even battery packs with new chemistries. Typically, these changes abroad end up making their way to Tesla's vehicles across the globe. Also, one of the biggest changes is the UI. It includes customizable buttons along the bottom of the screen. It also entertains the ability to drag and dock windows to different parts of the screen. There are minor changes as well, such as a mini music player that sits on top of the map. The mini player gives you quick access to music controls used most often, such as skip and pause. New for 2022, the Model Y is attaining an in-cabin radar that will rectify driver perception, detect vehicle intrusions, and perhaps even alert authorities if a child is left behind in a hot car. Additionally, they would enhance theft prevention systems by having a six-foot security range outside their vehicles, and by detecting broken windows and vehicle intrusions. It also looks like all new Tesla models will now have the refreshed user interface that the luxurious Model S and X received in 2021. This new UI allows the driver to customize the infotainment display as needed. Model X and Model S and Made in China Model Ys have also transitioned to a new AMD Ryzen chip for the media computer. Tesla may be the kind of automaker that loves to offer aftermarket features through software updates, but that's not always logical. Those updates can find on existing hardware the automaker had the concept to install, which is why its cars still get regular updates like this. There's no way of telling what advantages some of these features might have, mainly the new infotainment computer. However, since Tesla has already commenced installing a new AMD Ryzen chip in Chinese Model Ys, resulting in boost in infotainment performance and load times, we can expect something similar to be occurring to Model 3. Sadly, we're not likely to get the AMD-powered gaming rigs, complete with 10 teraflops of power, inside the cheaper Tesla cars. Not yet, anyway. Also, instead of having 14 speakers and a subwoofer, there will be one less speaker as the one on the dashboard panel has been excluded. According to Tesla, this way, sameness and naughtiness are destroyed in production, with sound quality not being entailed at all. The new configuration is presumed to have more flexibility for enriching the sound equipment through OTA upgrades, as Tesla usually does consider these kinds of updates and upgrades. The list also features several changes to the Model 3 performance brakes, including new pads, a new version of the brake discs, and updated brake pad friction material. One other change that stood out is the addition of a super horn, which is depicted as a 3-in-1 horn, alarm, and loudspeaker. Given these changes were circulated in the Netherlands, and some mention Giga Berlin in Europe specifically, several of these might be released first from Tesla's newest factory. However, since the list also includes Model 3 changes, many of these are probably already implemented at Giga Shanghai. Also, no update is done without the performance and the interiors of the vehicle. And as these are my favorite organs of the vehicle, let's discuss them by differentiating both cars. First, let's talk about the Model Y. The performance of this car is no doubt an incredible one, and barely does a compact SUV perform like a track car. 
and that's exactly what you get with 456 horsepower Model Y performance. The performance is top class, making out 497 pounds of torque and propelling to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. It also comes with a downcast suspension and 21 inches Uber turbine wheels. All that power comes with a range liability, dipping it down to a still respectable 303 miles. Even the Model Y long range base variant is real leisure to drive. With 384 horsepower and 376 pounds of torque, the most affordable Model Y still zooms to 60 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds. A test drive reveals that the power just keeps erecting beyond 60 miles per hour. The long range has a top speed of 135 miles per hour and the performance tops out at 155 miles per hour. Ground clearance is 6.6 .6 inches, so off-roading capabilities are limited without mutations. And speaking of the insides, there's exceptional second row leg and shoulder room, thanks to a standard glass panoramic roof, and that too without a sunshade headroom is more than sufficient, even for lanky passengers. The rear seats slope slightly in case anyone wants to doze off while staring up at the sky. The speedometer, navigation, climate controls, audio controls, and most other features are accessed through the 15.5-inch touchscreen essentially mounted on the Model Y's dash. Speaking of audio, immersive sound is a winner for audiophiles. And now, let's chat about the Model 3. Reports say that the entry-level rear-wheel drive Tesla Model 3 can do 0 to 60 miles per hour in a claimed 5.8 seconds. That's much faster than an identical Kia EV6 or indeed a likewise priced petrol or diesel rival such as the BMW 3 Series. The long range and performance additions of the Model 3 have four-wheel drive and not one but two electric motors, so they're even quicker. Indeed, they've clocked the performance pinging from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds, so it'll comfortably see off a Porsche 911 Carrera S in a drag race as well as its closest rival, the Polestar 2. Even the entry-level Model 3 should get you around 230 miles in the real world, as long as it's not too wintry. And living true to the Model S's maxi-minimalist interior design, the Model 3 is just as stark. The dash is nothing but a piece of wood, a full-width air vent, and a 15.4-inch touchscreen, landscape-oriented, rather than the larger portrait screen in the Model S. From where you sit on a slightly thin but otherwise comfortable chair, the screen appears to hover in mid-air. The Model 3 delivers a combined 15 cubic feet of space between its rear cargo hold and front trunk. The vast majority of that area is in the rear trunk. This Tesla has more cargo room than most class rivals, and standard split-folding rear seats permit for improved capacity to carry larger items. While this is all much more than I could have guessed about an updated car, this is truly captivating. But apart from our expectations and thoughts, what do you think about these modifications? Which one did you like? Model 3 or Model Y? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you want to be updated on every single topic related to Elon Musk, then you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.